Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today we got some exciting news in the crypto markets here. This week has been absolutely crazy. You had Elon Musk buying Twitter, and you got crypto pumping back up. But today's video is about one of our favorite projects here. It is Steppencoin, GMT, climbing all the way up here into the number one trending token here, according to Coin Market Cap. Guys, since the launch of this project, Steppen GMT has been lingering in and out of the top 10 trending coins here in crypto, and it's really had the number one spot on and off and very consistently really to be honest with you we've done quite a few videos on it make sure you check out some of our previous videos on it but i'm going to bring some new news to you guys here today and some new price predictions with some of the latest news and what we got going on the crypto markets and broader markets as a whole stay tuned to the end of this video to find out what we're thinking for where we might be headed next make sure you smash the like button subscribe to the channel uh also if you got a taste for some free money i got some in the links in the description for you down below free money for crypto.com and freemax uh femax make sure you guys check it out without further ado let's hop in today's video about stepping all right so looking at the coin market cap as a whole we're still under two trillion dollars but we're on our way back up guys this week elon musk bought Twitter now, the deal is still finalizing, but it is done. I mean, it's going to happen here. It's just a matter of when and how, but it's going down. That's for sure. We're seeing a pump. Bitcoin has come back up above 40,000, Ethereum above 3,000, and number one trending token still is Stepin GMT, which is absolutely unbelievable. Also, in the biggest gainers, I got to point this out, the number one biggest gainer coin up 4,300% today is Elon buys Twitter. So congratulations to all you guys that bought Elon buys Twitter. You're rich. By the way, if you bought it, I suggest you probably sell it because that's probably a scam. I want you guys to make money and not lose money. So anyway, let's take a focus back in on Steppen Token and GMT, guys. Very legitimate project here. I think that it is one of the more exciting projects we've had here in 2022. Uh, when you do look at some of the other popular projects, Steppin, Apecoin, probably two of the more popular projects, I'd say, uh, that have come out in 2022. There's a couple others that have been popular this year, but for new projects, these two came out right around the same time. And as you can see, they are number one and two in trending today. Apecoin up a whopping 16.79%. We just did a video about that the other day. Make sure you check that one out. Uh, at the Crypto Report YouTube channel. Also follow us on social media. But Steppin has been in and out of the top spot, guys. So right now, number one trending, down 1.4% for the day. But let's take a peek at this. So it's currently ranked number 53. Again, ticking up a climb one spot at a time, couple spots at a time, trying to break into the top 50. And I mean, it's number 53. When we first started looking at this token, I think it was right around the 60s, 70s, and it's climbing into the low 50s and probably going to break into the top 50 here. I'm going to guess in a matter of days. Uh, I really think that because of a couple of reasons. One, it's a new project and it's very, very popular. Uh, as you can see by it's been trending consistently. The watch list on CoinMarketCap is absolutely growing. When you go into the social media platforms and you look at Twitter, Still growing at 320k followers, which just at 300k the other day, guys. Another 20k followers, absolutely flying upward. When you guys go back over here and you look at the Reddit community, also growing, guys. When you take a peek at this, they're up to 21.5k members. I just the other day we were looking at it was 13k members, basically doubled. 283 people online. So there's a lot of growth here happening, and this Discord. Uh, excuse me, this Reddit was only created on October of 2021, and uh, this project launched uh, on CoinMarketCap at least back in the beginning of this year. So it's a new project. It's very, very exciting, and a lot of people are talking a lot about it, which is why it is trending as number one here uh, on CoinMarketCap. Now, one thing that I noticed today, guys, was when you go, and please check this out for yourselves, when you guys go to the App Store on at least Apple, now I'm not sure about Samsung, I don't have a Samsung, but when you guys look at the App Store for Apple and you check out Steppen, uh, which by the way, when you go to Steppen.com, 
how you can know this is legitimate, and I've talked about this before, is you can download the app now. It's a functioning product. So when you go in and you click download now, and you check out the project, well, you will see, uh, it'll take you straight to the app store. It is currently number six trending on the app store for finance and fitness. It's so popular, guys, that it's actually up in one of the top spots on the app store. Now, back in the early days of crypto.com, before it pumped, that's one of the things that I looked at for crypto.com, which is a popular application. I was talking with some of my buddies and we were talking a little bit about some coins that we like. We looked at coin market, we looked at crypto.com, we looked at FTS, some of the other coins, and we were noticing that they were trending in the app store. And when you see something trending in the app store, then you know that's just not speculators. It's not just speculators speculating on price action that it's actual users and actual adoption that's coming in to the community for Steppin. People are buying these NFTs. People are using the Steppin platform. There's a huge Discord about it. That's where uh, most people are talking about it on Discord, but you can see Twitter and Reddit are growing and we're seeing a lot more adoption for this and we're seeing it trend. So it's on the front of people's tongues just like this Elon Musk and Twitter news. So why am I tying those two things together? Well, here's why, guys. So let's frame this up for you. So Step In is popular. We've gone over this. It has been in and out of the top trending spot. Crypto has been teetering between, well, Bitcoin's been struggling with the $40,000 price level, Ethereum with the $3,000 price level. We've been floating around that $2 trillion market cap. With the news that Elon Musk bought Twitter, that is very bullish for the broader markets, for Twitter, for uh, Tesla, of course, and for cryptocurrency because Father Dogecoin, of course, is Elon Musk. He tweets about crypto all the time. Him and his friends, Michael Saylor, Jack Dorsey, they're all Bitcoin and crypto bulls. Now, in a time where we've been struggling with price action and there's been a lot of fear in the markets, you see a coin like Step In that's new, hanging in the top trending spot. Now, when and if, when and if this news creates a huge pump, and might I remind you guys, we already saw Dogecoin pump 20%, 19% on this news here this week. When and if the broader markets as a whole turn bullish on account of this news of Elon Musk buying Twitter, Step In could very well have a massive pump. And why do I say that? Because it's still a low cap, lower cap coin. It's only got a market cap of $2 billion. And when you compare that to some of the top or top, more uh, higher up ranking coins, like let's look at the number 20 coin, $9 billion. So basically a 5X almost. Uh, if, if it wants to get into the top 20, you're looking at a 5X. If it wants to get into the top 30, you're still looking at about a, a two or three X, okay? So we're looking at some serious mobility where it could still make its way. Now, is it better than Unas said Leo Leo or Bitcoin Cash? Well, I'd say definitely better than Bitcoin Cash. I'm not a big fan of Bitcoin Cash personally, guys. I don't even know what this Unas said Leo Leo is. I've never looked into it. Uh, perhaps I should, but you know, Monero, kind of an older project, Ethereum Classic, not a big fan of Ethereum Classic. Basically, just a, uh, in my opinion, it's a copy of Ethereum, but why buy the copy of Ethereum when you can buy Ethereum? My point is, is if we do see a bull market riding on the news of Elon Musk and we've got popular projects like Steppen in, in 53, on the 53 slot here, it could start climbing up. It could start passing a Clayton and a Pancake Swap and... Uh, a Tezos, which I used to be a fan of, not much of a fan of anymore. I, you know, it could start climbing up, guys. And internet computer, I don't think belongs in these top spots. Uh, that had a lot of crazy volatility. I think it could move up, guys. And if these markets start turning up on account of this news and the markets go bullish, you will see some of the popular projects probably step in an ape coin uh, and this is not financial advice this is just my thinking crypto kip here at the crypto report you know based on what we're seeing this could go up and it could pump ape coin and step in uh in some kind of moon mode uh again and, and why do i say ape coin well ape coin's number 29 so that's some got some mobility too but 
step in more so uh, because it's got a lower market cap. And so there's a lot more money that could flow into it or even a less amount of money that flows into it could have a bigger upward movement for the project. So here's what you guys want to know. Where could we go from here for the price of step? And well, if Bitcoin goes back up on its way, on its merry old way towards 50K, then we might see step in here, break right back above this $3, well, it is above the $3 price level, and continue on up and get past $4. And if we get past $4, guys, well, that's what we like to call price discovery mode. And if Bitcoin's moving up and step in price discovery mode, then we we really we really don't know when when the end is. Uh, we could make our way into the top forty, top fifty, top twenty cryptocurrencies, and if that's the case, you're looking at a one, two, three, a ten x potentially. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the chat box down below. I mean, with the news that came out, uh, I wouldn't really be surprised to see some kind of huge pump. Now, also, we got to flip the other side of that coin. All of a sudden, when you feel really bullish, and I'm sure you guys have had this happen in the in the past, you know, when you feel really bullish, sometimes the opposite happens. When you're feeling one way, the markets sometimes like to trick you and do the opposite. So that that's a possibility as well. But again, when you look back in 2019, when Elon Musk came out and publicly said that he bought Bitcoin, that doubled the price of Bitcoin. And uh, we were talking about this here at the Crypto Report, me and Black Sea, we were talking a little bit about what Elon Musk recently did with these prices and uh, in 2019. And he basically brought the bull market to crypto and Bitcoin in 2019. And we saw huge movement into the end of that year and up through that year. I think it was right around the same time, actually. Are we going to see that again? Is Elon Musk going to be the catalyst for a continuation of the bull market in 2022 and beyond? Let me know what you guys think in the chat box down below. We definitely value your opinion here, guys. We don't have all the answers. We just have a couple ideas that we're going to throw at you every day based on research, but always do your own research, guys. That's what I'm going to leave it as. Please leave some comments in the chat box down below. I genuinely, I, I want to know, I need to know what you guys are thinking because really that's what this channel is about. We want to hear from all those crypto reporters out there. We don't just want to talk at you guys. We want to talk with you guys. So that's it. I'm going to leave it with that. Uh, I am Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, you got to remember, guys, to DCA HODL. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody.